are talking sustainable style with Sarah T. She is my go-to for all things upcycling, all things sustainable that actually look really chic and cool. I'm so happy to see you, Sarah, and to be in your home. I know. I'm so happy to be standing close to you. Oh, my gosh. Well, you brought in so many different hacks, and I'm telling you, this is stuff where, like, I see it and I think, Ugh, I could never do that. And then Sarah shows me, and it actually works. I like to reuse as many things as possible. Well, I know so, you do, girl. I know. <laughs> I'm telling you, I do. So there's a few things that I do in my house that I actually do all the time that I thought I would share with you today. So number one, pill bottles. Uh -huh. Everybody has pill bottles, whether you have kids, elderly people, you have blood pressure medicine, whatever it may be. So what do you do with these pill bottles? What I do with them is fill them with water. Did you see that? They're, okay, yeah, this was cold when I picked it's it up. Yeah, what is happening it's not, here? They don't leak. And the great thing is, is if you put the water in, you freeze them, they're great little mini ice packs. Great for kids' lunches, great for a boo-boo, a burn. Okay. This. Let me, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, let me upcycle, let, let me yeah. one-up you in the upcycling and make this yeah. a facial ice roller. There you go, yeah. You know facial, what I mean? Yes, like a facial ice roller. in the morning. But no. it's just, I mean, and why throw all these bottles away? Just throw some water in them and freeze a little, a little baggie of This, I just saw in your restroom, this whole situation. I know. Shampoo pumps uh -huh. are universal with a lot of different types of bottles. But if you want to take the label off your Perrier bottle. Okay. You just cut that off. I had this Gucci tote and I cut the label off and just modge podged it on the bottle and so chic okay so yeah. you just use the mod like you just painted it on there yeah, painted it on there and then it stays on there and then what you do is you fill it up with soap uh-huh put your lid on so cute for a guest room yes. or for your room okay what's okay. going on with this lamp situation okay. I'm not a fan of cords with lamps a lot of people don't realize this with most lamps not all lamps the cord will actually push all the way into the base of the lamp usually they're hollow so on that one so yep slide it in you just slide it in <laughs> Do you guys feel so dumb for having not known this? I don't like tell me. you. It's pretty cool. So if you oh have, my gosh. so when you do plug it in, hey, you got your outlet. You're just you just have to pull it out a little. Okay. You don't have to be like you know all this cord like hanging everywhere. I feel, I feel personally attacked. Yeah. <laughs> cords Pets everywhere. and kids yanking them down and stuff, right? Okay, that is okay. so smart. Okay, you have one more lamp hack for us. I do one more lamp hack. All right, when my big girl was very little, she used to always try to touch the light bulb and it was really hot. Now yeah. there's kind of LED bulbs and you don't have to mess with that but what if you have a lamp that you'd like to put somewhere and there's no plug-in right well I have a little bit of a hack for that I love these puck lights that you can get at any home improvement store and then you also have a little remote that can go with them you just take the puck light take the light bulb out of the lamp put the puck light a little bit of velcro on the bottom of it if you like and just pop it right inside the lamp and then you can just use the remote to turn it on and off whenever you need it or you can set it on a little timer so in the evening it'll come on stop it right now I wouldn't recommend this for like main lighting in your house sure. but it's perfect for a little bit of accent light and these last about a hundred hours oh my goodness okay this could be one of my favorite hacks I've ever learned from you and I've learned a lot from you I guess the goal now is just to get motivated to go do it which I think these are pretty simple oh so you could do all these in like 10 minutes Sarah, I love all the accolades you have gotten lately, all the attention you've gotten lately for, for everything. I mean, she has been blowing up. Tell everybody where they can find you on TikTok and social media. My TikTok and my Instagram are actually the same. It's at redo underscore style. And we will link everything Sarah T and upcycling on our website, CW33.com.